Hi, welcome to the Washington, D.C. Market Watch, brought to you by RBI, Real Estate Business Intelligence, an MRIS company. We're going to dig into the most recent numbers from the Washington, D.C. housing market. What was largely touted as a recovery year for our nation turned into another transition year in what has become a more drawn-out bottoming process than most would like. That said, falling supply and rising demand suggest improving fundamentals, which should set the stage for calmer seas ahead. Let's face facts, there is no way to know for sure what the future holds, but a few important patterns emerged during the year that should establish a new scene in 2012. In most communities, the path of least resistance is higher prices and more permanent recovery. Pending sales were up 17.6% from last December to land at 467. That's a good thing, of course, since housing recovery will not occur without consumer participation. In 2011, Housing demand strengthened organically without any divine intervention or government incentives. This is a major positive. Home buyers were fairly active last year. Sellers, not quite as much. That combination of activity made dramatic drops in active listings one of the year's leading stories. Inventory levels were down almost 29% to 2,141 units. Prices firmed up nicely from last December, reflecting both the changing mix of homes selling as well as shifting market tides. The median sales price increased 3.3% to $412,000. Month supply of inventory, which does a great job of measuring the balance between supply and demand, was down 28.1% to 3.9 months. Since five to six months is considered balanced, we are technically in a seller's market. As for 2011 as a whole, closed sales fell 2.6% to 6,438, which is lower than both tax credit years but higher than 2008. The median sales price was up 2.5% to $399,900. That's about even with 2008 prices. Ultimately, the spring selling season should be a major tell as to the future direction of the market. Higher, increase, positive, improvement. These are words we hope to use more of in 2012. While the fundamentals are better, the foreclosure situation and some political unknowns still remain wild cards. Speaking of, hindsight indicates that Washington tried to catch a falling knife. The tax credits temporarily reversed the natural ebb and flow of the market, causing forecasters to prematurely declare bottom. Moving forward, a comprehensive housing policy framework is still necessary to guide sustained recovery. That's the Washington DC Market Watch.